Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Scenes by Joy, and we have officially made it to episode 15 of Vlogmas. It's getting this thing. So, today's episode will be about being single during the holidays. No, I'm totally happy. You guys, I don't even give a fuck about being single during the holiday season this year. <laughs> like, let me keep it 100 with y'all. Usually, I will be in my feelings. I am a little girl. I am in my soft girl era, which I have always been in my soft girl era. I have always been a little girl. I have always been the one who made the R&B CDs. I've always been the one who always had a boyfriend. I was always that friend who would leave the event early to go be with my man. I am just a relationship girl. I can't really even remember a time when I wasn't in a relationship or didn't have a boyfriend or didn't have a boot thing like, I am all, I am all about the love thing. I love love. Valentine's Day is one of my absolute favorite holidays. I take breakups hard. I love hard. And I take pride in saying and in knowing that I know how to take care of a man, baby. I know how to take care of my man. So relationships, I be locked in. But this year, we had to do something different, y'all. We we had to do something different. And I don't regret switching it up this year. Like, I am so locked in with myself right now. I am on this entire self-love, self-journey, you know, a little tidbit. And I don't wanna hop up off this ride. I am learning so many awesome things about myself. I am enjoying time by myself. I am just overall getting to know myself as a woman. And since I am 29, I am transitioning, about to transition to a, a different decade. <laughs> I don't wanna go into 30 doing the simple-minded things I was doing in my 20s. I want to go into my 30s with a new mindset and it doesn't happen by, oh, I wake up on August 15th and I'm a brand new woman. No, you gotta put in that work before you get to that stage. And I know that I've always been goal oriented. I have always reached my goals. And you know, the men that I was dating, they didn't necessarily interfere with that. But what I had to realize that during that time like college days, when I was dating a guy in college or when I was dating a guy in high school per se, like in high school, we on the same level, you know? <laughs> Financially, you know, we're we both trying to graduate high school. We probably have aspirations of going to college, but we'll see who make it there. But at the end of the day, we had the same goals. College. And I'm dating a guy in college, did nine times out of 10, I met him in college. And even if he wasn't in college, he probably was working a job, you know, working a regular job. At that time, I was just working a regular job, you know, or I was dating a college boy. So we, we were on them same goals. We were equally yoked on that level. But when it started getting tricky with dating is adulthood. <laughs> because I was already in my career at 22 years old. 22 years old, well, I've been having my own apartments. I had my first apartment when I was 19. I had my first car when I was 16. So in that aspect, I've been had it. But once I graduated college at 22, here I am 22 years old, own apartment, own car, health insurance, salary, job, and dating men just kind of became more difficult from that point on. Yes, I have had boyfriends, you know, over that course of time, but it's just, it, it wasn't working out. It seemed like there was always an imbalance. It always was something that just wasn't aligned. And as I have gotten older, you know, deeper into my twenties, there are certain things that I expect from a man. And by no means necessary do, do I feel like, oh, as a man, you, you should do this. You should be doing this. No, what I'm saying is, as a man, if you want to date me, you're going to have to do this. And if you can't do this, I would just simply rather be single. I don't want to argue with you. I don't feel like forcing you to do something because if I force you to do it and you do do it, you didn't do it 
genuinely you didn't do it from your heart you didn't do it because you love me you just did it because you heard me bitching about it and you got tired of me bitching about it so you're gonna do it this one time to kind of put a band-aid over it but after that you're gonna go back doing to what you want to do and I was so used to having somebody, so used to being in a relationship that I'm not gonna lie, I was afraid of being alone. I was afraid of being single. I just had this mindset that, you know, I want a family and I want a house and I want the kids, I want this and that. But Rihanna had her first baby at 34. <laughs> Beyonce had her first baby, what, at 33? Like, a lot of successful women, a lot of women that I am seeing in media that are killing it, like these women are getting married, having children, like, you know, early, mid thirties. I'm only 29. I'm still a baby. Like I still have time to grow. I still have things to explore. I still have things I wanna try out. I wanna see without the baggage of a man or a child or any of those responsibilities. Like I feel, I feel I can take that stuff serious like within the next, hell, even if it's three to five years, I'm just 29. I don't have to take that serious right now. And I was so pressed on taking it serious and it wasn't happening and I was getting frustrated, but it wasn't happening because it wasn't my timing. Okay, it wasn't my divine timing. Our life is already pre-planned. And when God, when the universe has big, big, big goals for you, there's nothing that you can do to deter you off that path. If God wants you on that path and you are projecting positive things into this world, the universe is gonna reflect those positive things to you. When you pray to God, he listens to your prayers. And as long as you say, you know, loyal as long as you stay a good person as long as you just start honoring you know just faith and just knowing that you know you can be successful you can be somebody and you be good to others all those things will come to you and the thing is it just wasn't my time it just wasn't my time to start a family it just wasn't my time to be married or to be in a serious relationship it's not so i'm enjoying this time right now getting to know myself and I'm enjoying this time to know what it is that I really want as a woman and what I don't want as a woman. There's just some things for me that are absolute deal breakers. Like I'm not settling for that and I'm not gonna settle for that just to say that I got a man. It's like, I can do bad by my damn self, okay? I'm already allowed to handle by myself. So why would I want you coming to my life causing more stress on me than I cause myself? That makes no sense. Just to say I got a man, just so we can take onesie pictures so I can be around your family and they gonna be cool with me, but also cool with the next bride that you bring around. Like, make it make sense. Which gets to my next little spiel. I used to get caught up on them little holiday pictures on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. You know, when you see people with their matching PJs and they, get caught up on that. I'm like, I want that too. Y'all, that shit be fake. Them people be literally having each other in headlock the next day, if not the next hour. It be fake. It be so fake. And I know for a fact because I have had people in my life who, who have portrayed this image of a relationship and behind closed doors. It just wasn't what it was portrayed to be. So if I'm going through it with these men out here, I know all these other girls out here going through it. I mean, I consider myself pretty. I consider myself intelligent. I consider myself successful from where I'm at right now. And there's so many women that are on that level. There's so many beautiful women, so many self-made independent women out here. So if they out here doing me bad, I know they doing them bad. Like, if I don't get no pass, they don't get no pass. If they don't get no pass, I don't get no pass. We all getting treated the same. And you can do what you want to do, ladies. But as for me, mm -mm. I'm not even satisfied with where I'm at in my life right now. I'm not even, you know, I do good for myself, but I'm not satisfied financially. I'm not satisfied career-wise. I'm not satisfied as far as investments go, as far as what I'm trying to do with myself. So why would I bring a man into my life, settle for his bullshit that's not helping contributing to my goals, just to say I got a man that takes some onesie pictures? Make it make sense. It don't make no fucking sense. And I used to be that dumb ass girl, yeah. I used to be that dumb ass girl to be like, oh, but it looks pretty. We gotta, now I'm all for aesthetics. I don't care what nobody say. I'm always gonna be big on my aesthetics. But 
fuck them aesthetics. Like, they only go so far. Like, a man just not something I am finna just play with as far as my aesthetics go. Like, men can be complete distractions. I'm sitting up here arguing with you about some bullshit. I could be recording a video. I could be editing some pictures. I could be out here marketing myself. I could be at a networking event, but I can't go to my networking event because I done caught you doing some bullshit. Now I'm crying, I'm boohooing, I don't feel like getting dressed. Now I'm in the bed for the week. Now I gotta pick myself back up and relearn all this stuff I just taught myself. No, 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 no. If a man come into my life and he's showing me that we are equally yoked, I'll be willing, I'll be willing to pursue, but if you ain't stepping that way, like if you're not stepping that way, if you're not coming that way, I'm good on it, boo. I'm so good on it, I'm not pressed about it. And I can be cool with you, like I'm cool with my ex, I chop it with my ex, but I make it clear, I'm not on it. I don't wanna be on it. When I was on it, he wasn't on it. So now I'm not on it. And no hard feelings, no love lost, but you know what, everything's happening for a reason. Cause when I was on that, it wasn't time for us to be on that. And you know, it still ain't time for us to be on it. So I'm not gonna be on that. Not for no damn pictures, not for some unrealistic shit. You know, actions speak louder than words. So being single through the holidays, y'all, is not that bad. Go out and do things with your friends. Go out and see the Christmas lights with your friends. Like, I'm so excited for my best friend Jazz to come down this weekend. And we're gonna link up with our other best friend, Bree, and then my guy baby gonna be here. Like, it's this Christmas bar that we're gonna go to. I'm gonna bring my camera. I want us to take family pictures because that's my little family. Like, I'm so excited for that, you guys. Like, I'm gonna take pictures with them. We're gonna go out to eat, we're gonna have drinks. I'm going home for the holidays. I'm gonna see my grandparents. My best friend most likely is gonna be home too. Probably gonna go over her people house, eat, turn up, all that. Like, it's so many things that you can do during the holidays besides worrying about being in a funky ass relationship. Now, if you do got something real and got something genuine and that man is your better half and he's making you a better woman and y'all flourish together, Stay down because I love love. I think that is beautiful. I'm happy for y'all. Wish you nothing but the best. But as for me and my single ass, <clears throat> I'm good. I can spend the holidays with my friends and my guy, baby, my little cousin, and it is what it is, boo. So that's what it's like being single during the holidays for me. I'm good. And the thing is, I hope this light is right. I was so fresh, you guys. To record a video on this couch. I don't know why, I just feel like it's so cozy, but these lights at the back are like glaring. Whatever, I don't even care, cause this couch is really, mm, mm, mm. It's comfy, it's cute, I feel like it's more intimate. I'm in my apartment clubhouse, so I'm like, why not? Why not shoot a video on here? But regardless if you, if I'm glared or whatever, you get my message, you get my memo, okay? Don't get caught up in a hype, all right? So. So we made today for tea, you guys, and really, I'm, I'm starving. So I could be a little bit more turned up about making it today 15, which I'm ecstatic. I'm happy I've made it today 15, but I'm hungry, y'all. But we are officially at the countdown. We are officially there. 10 days until Christmas, boo. Let's get it. But as always, like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, 